Hi there, I'm Mark Ackley from the Department of Computer Science in the School of Computing and Mathematical Sciences at the University of Waikato. I teach a paper on the Master of Information Technology program, a paper on information visualization, a subject that I'm passionate about myself. As we deal daily with rapidly growing volumes of information, then increasingly we become dependent on computer-based tools to acquire, process, manage and interpret and understand this data. Techniques for information visualization, which go way beyond the conventional graph plotting, are vital to this understanding. I like to define the motivation for information visualization as being to be able to present what's often complex information in such a way that we're able to efficiently and effectively get the relevant data from it. Now, the idea of information visualization has been around for a long time, long before the age of computers. And one of the classic historical advantage examples I like to refer to is this map of Napoleon's ill-fated 1812 <coughs> uh, Russian campaign. It shows the actual path from Poland on the left to Moscow on the right, followed by Napoleon's army. Now, the line representing this path has its width proportional to the size of that army at each point, 400,000 advancing from Poland at the start, and just 10,000 returning on the retreat. Readily conveyed by this visualization are aspects such as the significant losses that occurred during the retreat because of the bitter Russian winter that caught them unawares, and at this point, the crossing of the Beretsina River, which was frozen over but ice not strong enough to support an army. So to my earlier explanation of the principles of information visualization, I'd now like to add, they ought to be such that we can gain insight, which would, we, would have not been possible without the carefully designed visualizations. So many of the visualizations we see that are computer generated are often static, and exploit techniques just like those demonstrated by Minard. Representations like this Sankey diagram showing the difference between electorate and party votes in New Zealand's MMP electoral system. Or a word cloud showing a vocabulary and word frequency used by Bob Dylan in his Blonde on Blonde album. Or this real-time progress of a sporting event such as the representation of a Cricket World Cup game between uh, England and New Zealand. Uh, or this timeline of the pop group Fleetwood Mac over the 50 years of its existence. But the real power of computer-generated visualizations is often in their ability to be dynamic, to allow us to explore information, such as this representation of the relationships between life expectancy and average income over time across the countries of the world. And this chart of deaths from COVID-19 in comparison with other causes during the first half of 2020, as you can see, rapidly growing over time. And this map-based representation of the Auckland public transport system, buses, trains, ferries, over a 24-hour period. Now, as a part of this paper, students undertake a significant project on a topic of their own choice and typically produce compelling visualizations similar to those that I've just been showing you. Now, the Master of Information Technology is a taught master's degree involving two trimesters of taught papers, like this information visualization paper, followed by a one trimester industry internship, where students apply that taught knowledge and the skills that they've acquired to a real world problem in a real world environment. The degree is aimed at producing industry ready graduates and strengthening the collaboration between the university and industry. Thank you.